Hey y'all. I just got out the hair shop. I haven't been on in a while. I apologize. I have been posting, but I personally, like my face, haven't been on in a while because it was time to get that hair done and then kids went back to school and I went back to work. So I'm just trying to adjust back to getting into the swing of things because y'all know I was off the whole summer. So, but now it was back to school and back to work. Anyways, let's get this started. So I want to say I'm very shocked that Cinco and Bella broke up this fast. I wasn't expecting that. Like, was y'all expecting it? Because I wasn't expecting that. I actually liked her for him. I like that she got him closer to God and that they went to church together. They prayed together. She got him a lot of um, inspirational books and stuff like that. And I always say, get yourself a, a praying man or a praying woman you know what i'm saying one that's got a relationship with god the one that's saved that believes in christ you know what i mean so i'm sad to hear about it um he said it was mutual agreement um i say neither one of them should stress if it's meant to be it'll be you know what i mean if it's not then that means god has a different plan for you and he got something better for you, you know, that's going to work for you. You know what I'm saying? So, he seems kind of sad in his, like, videos and his TikToks. Like, breakup is hard. Breakup is hard. You know what I mean? So, I'm really wishing him the best. Um, I don't agree with the advice that DDG gave Cinco. Yes, he's young. Yes, he should grind. Yes, he should make his money and you know what i mean but also that's like natural advice as far as spiritual is concerned listen when god sends you your wife and you you have plans on wanting to get married and like he's talked about it like single talked about him wanting to get married wanting a family and stuff like that wanting a barbecue on a grill his kids running around he knows that he wants that at his age. When God sends you your wife, you got to take it. It's not, you know what I'm saying? Like, God don't have to keep giving you chance after chance and sending you the person he has for you. When that person comes, that's it. Like, if you don't, you it may just pass you by. And who knows? You have to wait another, what, five or six years before you meet somebody else? You just never know. I don't, I don't believe in the whole... Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, just soak yourself and grind it and work type thing. No. Life is about balance to me. Any good life to me, in my opinion, is balance. Is everything in one. Is my family if I want it. You know what I'm saying? Like, my love life if I want it. You know what I'm saying? Grinding, working, doing content. He, he have to learn how to you know, spending time with the Lord. He got to learn how to balance everything, how to get everything in. That's that's a good life. You can never be too much of one thing. The only thing that you can never get enough, is, enough of is the word of God. Anything outside of that, you need a balance. You can't work all day, have no social life, have a social life, don't work. You know what I mean? Um, just drown yourself in work. Don't, you know, get into a relationship or get married. Don't have kids. You know, like, you know, don't vacation. Just work. You can't be all of one thing. Like, no. A good life is a life of balance. And I don't agree that it's an age thing. Like, DDG telling him, oh, he young, blah, 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 blah. Ain't no, first of all, you don't know you don't know when your life is going to end. You don't know. I'm not saying it's, our life is going to end. But what I'm saying is when God gives you a blessing, take it. Don't put no age on it. Don't put no limit on it. Oh, well, uh, he'll give it back to me in another few years when I'm, when I'm ready. No. You don't know that that's the case. Uh-uh. If you meet somebody at a young age and you know they solid and you know they the one, you better jump on that. I'm telling you the way these people thought and bopping out here. 
and you meet you somebody good, solid, that's going to be there for you, praying for you, holding you down, you ain't got time to play games, and you ain't got time to worry about your age either. Okay? That's how I feel about that. But anyways, I'm wishing them the best, and, you know, I hope they find their way back to each other if they are meant to be. Um, if not, I wish them both well in any other relationships that they get into. So, that's all I wanted to say about that. But let's keep Cinco in prayer. He's been looking a little down. I think it's taking a toll on him. So, let's keep our boy Cinco in prayer. And pray for Bella, too. We all need prayers. I love you guys. Bye. Like, comment, and subscribe.